Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here from Paradise Garage. Hope you're doing well. If you wanna learn auto body, uh, this is the place where you're gonna learn it. So, um, the Good Van Project, here we are. Now, I started prepping this thing under a tent outside, a 12 by 20 tent. Um, got all the body work done, okay? We just have a little bit of glaze spots that we have to sand down. Um, but then it started getting really windy. I was going to paint it under the tent, but I'm like, screw that. Uh, we're not going to do it. I'll probably end up painting it in my home garage here, as you can see. So I'm probably going to have to flatten the tires, bring it down another two and a half inches or so. So I got more clearance up on top and move the van over a little bit. We'll see what happens. I don't know. We're going to be really close to these light bulbs, uh, the fluorescent lights as well. Um, I don't know. I think I, we could make it work, right? There's a will, there's a way we can make it work. Um, anyway, guys, if you guys can hear and see me, let me know. Type in the chat. Let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Um, I'm just going to go over the project super quickly. What's up, Zeus? Um, and just show you some of the parts that I painted over the weekend here. A single stage black enamel. Um, we did the mirrors. Some of these little trim pieces that go on the back of the van here. Um, you know, like that. This goes like that. Okay, single stage black. Came out pretty good, not bad. Pretty glossy. And this is just over raw plastic. We didn't even prime it. Okay, so it's raw plastic here. Um, we put adhesion promoter and we painted it. The mirrors came out a little bit more orange peely, um, as well as these front piece. This goes by the uh, windshield wipers in the front, that front grill area. Um, the windshield wipers we also did because they were all crappy looking. So I was like, hey, let's just sand them down quick and uh, and paint them. They're, they came out really good. There's a little bit of dust on them right now, but they're dry, okay? We did the wipers, might as well. Um, get all the black trim and pieces. So this is all painted. Um, these are for our rims, center caps. Came out beautiful. Okay, we got all these done. Um, these flowed out really nice because uh, they were basically had no texture on it. You know, when painting over raw plastic, raw plastic, like I said, has a texture. So you're gonna get a little texture to it. Yeah, it's raining outside. You hear the rain. Um, let me see if I can get over. Oh, okay. Okay. So here's the the mirrors at. Okay, not bad. I mean, looks good. Looks good. Little orange peely. Um, not because of the way the paint flowed out, but because that we just painted right over the raw plastic. Okay, um, what we could have done and what you could do also, if you wanna get rid of the paint texture, the plastic texture, right? You would 2K filler prime it, then sand it flat smooth, and then it'll come out pretty much like gloss, like this. Um, you could see how this came out. Let me get the light. These came out really nice. No orange peel because it, because um, it was flat. There was no texture on it. It was just, just raw. Um, what is, I think this is aluminum. Yeah, aluminum. Okay, and these came out really good. Okay, super simple. Again, we have all this stuff detailed step by step and learn auto body VIP. So if you want to learn more, um, just click the link below or in the description somewhere around here. There's going to be a link where you get free training at learnautobodyandpaint.com. So all these black trims, these are all done. This goes across the top of the back, as you can see. Okay, of the van there. And um, we got all these done. Um, let's just show you quickly. Like this piece here is going to go on like this, right? They're going to be like that. So it's going to look good. You know, once this whole thing is done. What's up, Zeus? All right. So that's pretty much the update. Just wanted to share that with you. Um, I'm going to be painting the roof any day now. I would say within the next day or two. 
probably Tuesday. Um, white, this whole bead is gonna be white over here as well. So it's just about cleaning everything down. I might just razor blade everything down, clean it. Uh, we have to sand our glaze putty spots because we did have a little bit of pinholes and some scratching on the bodywork that I wanted to just quickly fill with some glaze putty, okay? Not every area, but just some area. We primed up, 2K primed up our door handles here. Um, so it's gonna look a lot smoother. And I could kind of get in here a little bit more and kind of sand this out a little bit more if I want to, right? Get it smoother, it's pouring out now. Um, but this is what it's looking like. Let me kind of move back a little. Okay, it'll be painted very soon. The front bumper is going to be black. This is all going to be black here, going down. Back bumper is going to be black. All right, the van's looking really good. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, guys, just comment down below if you're watching the replay or right now, whatever. Um, comment below and I'll try to get to you. Um, we're going to be streaming live again this week, a couple times probably, um, to, uh, to give you some updates. But that's pretty much it. It's ready to go. Just got to wash it down, clean it, get these glazed putty spots, clean it up. I don't have to wet it. I could just wipe it down, blow it off and wipe it down, keep it dry. Or I can wash it again. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. These guys are playing. Um, kind of primed up some of the plastic here. Got overspray on my light there. Whatever, I'll just wipe them off with some, with some lacquer, lacquer thinner. Hey! So, uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. This van should be looking like a totally new van uh, within a week. Within a week. All right, Tony here from Paradise Garage and Learn Auto Body and Paint .com. Um, Banging it out right here. You could do something like this from your own house even outside under a tent. Most of this done, this was mostly done outside under a tent, all this work here, okay? Um, now we're gonna paint it in here. We're gonna do the roof first, and then we're gonna do the body, and then we're gonna do the black. So it's basically three days of painting. You know, I could do the white, all the white at one shot, but it just might be too much paint, too much at one shot. So I'll do the roof. Maybe I'll do the roof and hood. I don't know yet, I gotta figure it out. Um, just break it up into little sections so it's just not over, overkill for this little garage um, and smoking everybody out over here. All right. Talk to you soon. Have a great... Have a great evening. Aloha. Hit the like button and uh, leave your comments down below. All right, Tony here. And this is gonna be Raptor Line. The whole thing's gonna be Raptor Liner, Raptor Line. I might even do these, this plastic here, Raptor Liner later, you know. Um, I'm not sure what time it is. I think it's around eight, give or take. 7.30 to 8.30 in that area, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I just got out of the shower, you know, just chilling. Um, did some yard work today. Happy Easter, by the way, guys. If you guys celebrate Easter, happy Easter. Um, but yeah, this is what we got so far. Okay. This is what we got so far. Um, let's see if this is... Ah, it's still kind of... Look at it. Still didn't set up because not much air got to it. This was two days ago we painted it. No, did I paint it yesterday? I painted it yesterday morning, actually. Painted this yesterday morning. All right. Ciao, guys. Peace.